All the new modern self-learning EFI systems that are on the market have made it easier than ever to switch over from a carburetor to a modern electronic fuel injection system. You're going to get better drivability, you're going to get better cold starts, you're going to get better mileage, and you may even get better power. One thing that has to be done when you're switching over from a carb to EFI is changing out the fuel system. The carburetor uses a mechanical engine-driven pump that delivers about 4 or 5 PSI, where an electronic fuel injection system needs something more like 40. For that, you're going to need an electric pump, and you're going to have to switch over some plumbing. There's a couple of different ways to do that, and we're going to walk you through it. Now, there's two major decisions you're going to have to make when you're setting up your EFI plumbing. You're going to have to decide whether you want a return style or a returnless system, and you're going to have to pick between an in-tank or an external fuel pump. First, let's talk about return versus returnless. In a return style system, you're actually sending fuel in a big loop. It travels forward from the pump up to the engine bay, goes through the fuel rails, and pressure is controlled by a regulator that bleeds off a little bit of the fuel and sends it back to the tank. Return style systems are very consistent in terms of pressure and flow, and they also help keep fuel cool by returning it from the hot engine bay back to the tank. A returnless system is easier to plumb because it only takes one line. Instead of controlling fuel pressure with a mechanical regulator, it's controlled at the pump through your ECU. Now, FAST does offer an electric pump that's rated for returnless duty, but you have to make sure you're using the right one. Not all electric pumps are created equal. With a returnless system, you're actually controlling fuel pressure by very rapidly cycling the pump on and off, and that can lead to pulsations in the fuel line. If you're going to be using a returnless system, you do need to have a damped fuel line. Now, FAST Easy EFI 2.0 throttle body has this damper built in. Uh, from a fuel perspective, it's got a, a built-in pulse dampener, so you have some capacitance in there and it smooths out the fuel. OEM designs that are returnless also have this built into their system. It's just something to consider if you're going with a returnless design. Now let's talk inline versus in-tank pumps. Pretty much every OEM EFI system uses an in-tank pump for a lot of good reasons. The pump's going to run quieter and cooler because it's always being immersed in the fuel and it's going to have a longer lifespan. FAST's official recommendation is use an in-tank pump. We also happen to have what I believe is the best in-tank pump on the market. It's the only one that was designed and engineered to work returnless. It's capable of handling 1,200 horsepower of fuel delivery and it works fine with E85. It's a modern EFI pump. Now, an inline pump is going to be a little bit easier to install because you don't actually have to open up the fuel tank. You can just mount it somewhere between the fuel tank and the fuel rails. If it's at all possible, going with an in-tank pump is going to be your best option, even if that means you're going to have to spring for a new fuel tank. Well, let's face it, the cars we're doing these EFI conversions on are pretty old and they're going to have a lot of crud in the tank to begin with. Now, in some cases, it's just not possible to run an in-tank pump, like on our Nova here, because we have a fuel cell, so we had to go with an external fuel pump. Now, when mounting an inline pump, the location is critical. It has to be below the level of the tank to maintain the prime. There's a lot of options out there. You can do inline systems, in-tank systems, return, returnless. But let me set the record straight. The best way to do this is to put an in-tank pump in, period. There's a reason why every car for the last 30 years has had an in-tank pump, and it's not a coincidence. It's the best way to do it. However you decide to go, make sure you plan it all out first because an EFI conversion is only going to be as good as its fuel system. The simplest solution is not always the best solution, so keep that in mind when you're doing your planning. FAST offers a complete range of components whether you're doing in-tank or external, return or returnless fuel systems. 